Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. In this session, we will learn or explore how we can use arcs and quarks in the function. Okay. So guys, to watch this session, I will recommend to watch the previous session of the function. In that function, we discuss function in greater details. Okay. So let me go to the Jupyter notebook. So guys, a function can have multiple arguments or no argument at all, right? As we have seen in previous video lecture. If you are not sure about the number of parameter while defining a function, then you can simply pass arcs. Arcs means to have an arbitrary number of arguments, which means variable length arguments in the form of tuple. Okay. So let me give you an example. For an example, let's say if I'm going to define a function def test, and here I am using the let's say arcs. Okay. So the arcs can be replaced by the any other name uh, according to your choice, right? It could be anything, but it is a Pythonic convention to use the asterisk arcs. And here I'm going to define, let's say print and here arcs, right? And here I'm using this one and print in case I want to check the type as well. So type and here type of arcs and print let's say sum and here I am using sum of arcs right so this is the function so in that function name which is test I am going to pass one two three and four see what will be the output so I have the four argument which is one two three four and what is the type of my argument which is tuple and it is giving me the output which is sum okay so you can you can check here or you can see here I don't, I don't have let, I'm going to define a, any specific number, right? You can define n number of output or n number of input. Okay. So it could be anything. So in case, let's say if you are not sure how many arguments you will pass to your function. Okay. Then you can use the arcs. Let me give you another example. DEF, let's say function arcs. And here I'm going to define argument one. Okay, and argument two. And here I'm going to define my arcs. Okay, you can you can you can define any other name here. Okay, so print, let's say argument one. And here I am using arc one. Now print argument two. And you can use arc two. And here print and I'm going to define arcs. This one. See, so function arguments. I'm going to call my function this one. And here I'm going to define some value. See, can you let me know what will be the output? So here I'm using two positional parameter, which is argument one and argument two. Apart from that, I am going to define my arcs. Okay. So here I mention positional argument with the asterisk arcs. So see what will happen. So first two parameter, which is five and six will assign to the argument one and argument two and the rest of your, these number will assign to arcs. See fine. In case, let's say if I'm going to define only the two arguments, see what will happen for an example, let's say function R. In case if I'm going to define 10 and 11, what will happen? So the 10 will assign to the argument one and 11 assigned to the argument two and your arcs will be blank. Okay. So these things you need to remember. Now I am going to change this example in a different way. Let's say def function arcs and one for an example, you can define any function name argument one. And here I'm going to define my arcs and argument two, right? Now let's say simple, these thing I'm going to copy here and paste it. Okay, so let me do one thing. Okay, now I am going to execute my function. For an example, function arcs, which is one. And here I'm going to define the same value. 
can you let me know when i execute this particular things what will happen see it is giving me a error why because you define 5 6 7 8 and 9 9 right five will assign to this one now how our program will let's say identify which values goes to the argument 2 or which values goes to the your asterisk rs so in this scenario you need to define your value separately for an example let's say function argument 1 and here i am using let's say 5 6 7 8 9 in case you are thinking you are going to define a separate value for the argument 2 for an example test then you can define here let's say this one so here the 5 is goes to your first variable which is argument 1 and the 6 7 8 9 is goes to your asterisk args and the last value which is test is going to the argument 2 okay now another example for an example let's say def is even in case i want to get the number from the list based on the my single argument okay so how we can do that let's say i am using here even list equal to whatever your number for number in arc if your number is moved by or if you are getting the remainder as zero it means that a even list now return even list fine now print you can call that your function name which is is even and you can define 11 12 12 okay this one so it is giving me a only the even number okay so this is like very useful when you are not sure about your number of arguments okay now the another thing is i am going to tell you what is the kya quarks let me let me write here this one quarks right so quark means keyword argument so this keyword argument frequently used to handle the cases where you have arbitrary number of argument instead of tuples okay it means it receive a dictionary containing all keywords argument let me give you example so that you can easily understand how we can use the keyword argument so let's say info student info and i am using here let's say quarks and here i am going to define print whatever your f and name and here i am saying it will take your dictionary name right and i am using here the slash t okay and here i am using enroll right and once again i am going to pass the dictionary quarks and enroll that's it okay now i am going to some define some input in the name of student info function let's say i am going to define for example name equal to let's say daniel and let's say if i'm going to define a is equal to 19 or let's say enroll equal to let's say in python for an example see so it is picking the positional argument which is daniel and enroll once again let's say student info then you can define let for an example name equal to mark and and roll what sage in java okay so we can use the keyword argument here now i am giving you another example based on the combining arcs and quarks okay example of arcs and quarks okay okay so for an example let's say def total sales if i am going to mention here arcs and i am going to change this name let's say let's say you can use p and you can use here let's say r right so the quarks and quarks is nothing this is the python convention right so for an example let's say total sales let me total sales so total equal to sum of your argument right and now print 
I'm going to print here, let's say, or you can use here R, right? And you can define your name, which is day. And here I'm going to define sales and sales, let's say I'm going to define in total, right? See what I'm doing here. Let's say I'm going to calling my function, which is uh, 85 and let's say 30, okay? And I'm using day, which is let's say Monday. Okay, once again, total sales. For an example, you can define any number, let's say 100, 200, 400, and you can define your day, which is let's say Friday, right? So you can, so the total is not defined, right? So let me do one thing. Total. Let me run this. Total sales is correct in a day. So we are calling the total. So we are getting uh, here. Okay, okay, okay. So we can use this one. Fine, now it is correct. If I'm going to, sorry, my mistake, my mistake. It should be total, right? Now it is correct. Okay, so Monday sales is this one and Friday sales is this one. Okay, another and last example. For an example, let's say total sales, just I'm changing something for an example, brand name, right? And here I'm using the ox and quarks. Okay, so for an example, total equal to sum of arcs, nine and F, which is F string. And here I'm using quarks, which is let's say day, right? And sales, which is total for an example of brand name. Okay, which is my positional argument. Now, now let's say total sales for an example, Puma. Total sales, let me write here. Uh, let me write here. Let's see. Here and 100 and 500, right? And day equal to Wednesday. See. Okay. So, so we can use any of the positional argument or we can change the other value as well. Let's say Nike and here, that's a 14, 1500, 1600. And I can change the name, which is Friday. Okay. Only one thing you need to remember while you are working on arcs and quarks. So arc receive multiple argument as a tuple and quarks receive multiple keyword argument in a dictionary form. These are the important thing. That's it. Okay. So guys, this is all about how we can use the arcs and quarks. Then you can practice on this so that you can easily understand the concept of arcs and quarks. So guys, thanks for watching and have a great day.